Hey YouTube, welcome to Tech Yesterday's Brian Easy coming back to you guys today with an unboxing and review of the uh, Toshiba CFD 256GB SSD. Now this is a JDM product I believe, so this has just been released in Japan and as such I wanted to get a new SSD and I was thinking about getting the Samsung Pro because I need, you guys are like, oh, why do you need it? You've already got an SSD, why do you need a new SSD? Well, I got this specifically because I needed extra space and I also needed faster write speeds, specifically because I was recording a, um, I'm starting to record, as you guys know, I record a lot of uh, videos in Camtasia Studio and uh, my actual solid state disk drive now won't record 1080p RAW, so this will this will definitely should be able to and that's the reason for buying it also I wanted to use my old 128 gigabyte for my hard drive for work so I got two computers I got one at work and one here and I'm going to use that one to be a portable little SSD now as you can see here's the product it comes with a three-year warranty so it's not as good the warranty on the pro the Samsung Pro I'm going to be specifically comparing this to the Samsung Pro because it is pretty much a contender it's around the same price this was about $20 cheaper than the Samsung Pro and the reason why I got this over the Pro was because it's CFD and I've already got RAM from CFD and I really like the brand it's really good value for money and so I'm going to see if this is good as good a value for money as the RAM was and specifically the three-year warranty is not as good as the Pro I'm going to say that now the five-year warranty on the samsung pro is better and i probably i mean i'm going to see how the speeds hold up but hopefully i'm I, i'm expecting a lot out of this hard drive but as you can see here it's made of metal so it's cased in a nice metal casing here it really gives a quality feel to the product even though it's a real small lightweight product and as you can see here with the unboxing here it comes with an adapter plate as well for a 3.5 inch drive so you can slide that in plug it into this and then slide it in it'll fit perfectly in your hard drive base so it's good i like it that it comes with the adapter it comes with screws as well so that's going to save you any hassles if you you know some some old cases don't have support for ssds so it's a really good feature to throw that in and now the box is just the box uh, it comes reasonably well packaged i do like the metal casing that's the one thing i do like i'm not going to be pulling this apart due to reasons that i don't you know i don't want to avoid my warranty so i want to be actually using this for a good three years um you know if, if i pull it off and it fails then that's going to be uh, $200 down the drain if it fails, yeah, so, uh, there it is, so that's the box, let's get on to, you guys are probably wondering about the speeds, so I'm going to do some tests now, I'm going to install this, do some tests as a secondary drive, because that's what a lot of people do test when they test these, they test them not as the main OS drives, they test them as an off drive, they just plug it into their motherboards, do the tests, and this is exactly what I'm going to do, so I'm going to run ASSSD and Crystal Disk Benchmark, and we're going to get those two tests, and then we're going to compare them to typical Samsung 840 Pro 256 GB uh, benchmarks, and we'll see how how this thing holds up so this is a JDM product I don't know if it'll be sold in the States or the UK or Australia but I'm pretty sure I mean uh, some of the CFD products I do see around but this is good we'll go anyway let's get on to the test let that do the speaking okay so the first result here is a program called ASSSD and this is a really good program basically it just does a heap of tests and it gives you guys an overall score and as you can see on the right here I got this drive for write speeds and as you see there the write speeds aren't that impressive uh, the 4k uh, read and write speeds are almost the same as my Corsair Force 3 which is a little bit annoying the sequential writes are really fast but uh, as you guys a lot of you guys know the sequential writes like they're not the be all and end all so I'm a bit disappointed about that so let's move on to the Samsung and I'll show you guys some results here okay so this is the Samsung Pro and this is just a result I pulled off someone on the Japanese uh, price website thing it was just a random score it was basically all the results that people got on this score were similar to this one as you can see here the write speeds are just huge on the Samsung so the Samsung 840 Pro 256 gigabyte is a beast of an SSD and so I mean this program is one of the many programs but I like it because it's so simple and it just gives you guys realistic results and it obviously just gives you a score that you can generally go by I mean the scores obviously there's going to be some other programs that are way more like you know they're going to give you way more results and maybe more in-depth things into the SSDs but I like ASSSD because it just gives you an easy score that you can look at and say okay this is this this is generally how good the SSD is but let's move on to crystal disk mark now which is another benchmark and as you can see here my um, CFD 256 gigabyte again did pretty similar to the scores in ASSSD I mean on the 4k read and writes they weren't that impressive and this is 
uh, the 4K read and writes are really important because they, I mean, in a lot of the tests that were done on a Antec and Tom, like all of these SSD places, the uh, 4K read and writes compromise like 90% of the usage of an SSD. So that being said, they're so important, but they don't get enough weight in these benchmarks, I think. So uh, if you can see here, the Samsung destroys it. Uh, in these in the 4k read and writes so that's an important thing to notice the sequential read and writes are pretty important I mean pretty much the same, but they're not that important So let's move on to the uh, Samsung now in this test and see how much see what it did compared to this one and as you guys can see here the Samsung just whitewashes the CFD uh, I mean the 4k read and writes are huge. I mean look at the guy He's already putting data on his SSD as well I think he's using this as a main OS drive or something But you can see 12% he's already using data on this drive and so the Samsung 840 Pro is just huge So that's what I'm just uh, getting at here. I think the Samsung SSD uh, 840 Pro is a better buy especially even if it's only another ten twenty dollars. It's definitely worth it. So I may have made the wrong decision. I don't know. But anyway, let's get on to the final closing. And I'll guys, I'll show you quickly my Force 3 as well as the main OS drive. And as you guys can see here, it did really, uh, got a really bad score in AS SSD. But the thing to notice was that the 4K read and writes were actually pretty decent. Uh, I mean, the sequential read and writes weren't that good as well as the 4K to 64 threaded scores. But the yeah the 4k read and writes were so were pretty damn impressive and this is the thing this is why a lot of people say uh, all ssds feel the same kind of thing is that's because the 4k read and writes there's no substantial difference like you know the samsung 840 pro is not like five times or four times faster than this one it's only at the best two times faster and so this is why a lot of people say in ssds like they all feel the same that's because of the 4k read and writes which compromise like a lot of the score uh, i mean a lot of the usage of an ssd so anyway, guys i'll go on to the conclusion now okay so in closing guys i will say that the samsung 840 pro 256 gigabyte is huge that thing just destroys anything on the market at the moment i think the vector as well is a pretty damn good choice as well but that in japan that thing is just overpriced so the a uh the 256 a gigabyte 840 pro was like another twenty dollars and i think it is definitely worth the extra money so this thing is just a new product so i think it's a bit overpriced at the moment i think it should be about twenty dollars cheaper than it actually is maybe forty dollars cheaper than samsung pro the write speeds were a little bit disappointing since i got it specifically for the write speeds but that's not to worry i mean it does what i need it to do it does record in 1080p uh raw which is great um that's what i got it for so i'm really happy about that it, and it's also going to replace my corsair force 3 and so I'm going to use my Force 3 for a little mobile computer that I can plug into work. And it's really good. So that's a good option there. And I will say that, yeah, the three-year warranty on this thing is not that impressive. I think it should come with a five-year warranty, especially since the competitors are offering like Plexta on the M5P. And the Samsung are offering five years on theirs. And that's pretty huge. So five years is really good. Anyways, in closing, I will say I hope you enjoyed this SSD review. It's not a, I mean, you don't get really get to see these JDM products that much. And so I love giving it to you as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And if you haven't already, subscribe to Tech Your City. And I also, I will say that I'm going to take a break until Haswell because I just got a lot on my plate IRL, like I'm really busy. Uh, but I will get a tech talk done about monitors. So a lot of people are asking me about monitors and I want to, I'm going to do a tech talk on monitors, also keyboards and mouses sort of all in one. Give you guys some great recommendations uh, from my personal experiences with all these types of panels. What I've seen at the stores, I've got an IPS panel at home here. I've got a TN panel at home here. I've got all these panels at home. I've seen a lot of panels, I've got friends with all these panels. I got a lot of them at work as well. There's an extreme amount of panels at my work. So uh, I can give you guys some great recommendations and best value for money kind of thing. So yeah, that'll. I look forward to giving you guys that. And I will do that probably next week or in the next two weeks. And then I'm going to be having a little bit of a break until Haswell. So that's that. And I will get some six Sundays up as well because they're really quick to do. So they're really easy for me to do as well. So stress-free. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. And also, if you have any questions, please leave a comment in the comment section below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Anyway, guys, peace out for now.